What's up guys? Welcome back to Rebel News. Pika Pika. These roads of flames are catching a fire. that the 25th on Monday is the first day of spring break. Hello Sharks. My name is John Quavius Zacharias Walker and I'm here with my product, Toilet Tubby Friend. So, would you ever sit on a toilet alone? No, because that's awkward. So I brought my friend, Toilet Tubby Friend. He has tape two as toilet paper. So I'm offering you sharks, ten billion dollars for two point three percent of my company. I'm, I'm interested, but I'm going to need. Okay, it. Let me stop you there. Let me stop you there. It can also be used for Kona Ice, which will be available to the elementary students on Wednesday the twentieth. How about now? I'm still going to need about ninety-eight percent of the company. I got to have something to work with. Then I'm out. I can give you an offer. Wait, third. Yeah. How does this affect the political and economic state of the world? So it's blue, which means that it supports I'm um, liberals. I'm out. I mean Republicans. Still out? I'm out. I have one offer for you. Three dollars for ninety-nine point nine percent. You got a This Saturday is the Miss Sancho Hall pageant. Good luck. Next. Get off the stage. Hey, Elijah, what is that? Oh, it's green for St. Patrick's Day that's coming up Sunday. So, you know, you gotta be sure to wear green. Or get pinched. Everything's <laughs> Hey guys, Jackson here with the weather. Today it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be hot. So you should be able to wear some shorts if you want to. It's taste is on my mind. Girl, you got me thirsty for another. Hey guys, it's great to here with the lunch. Today is a crispito. Monday is a cheeseburger. Tuesday is steak nuggets. Wednesday is breakfast. Thursday is walking taco, and finally, Friday is a hot one. The Rebel baseball team beat Carroll 3-1 to one on Monday. Austin Jordan and Wes Braystead combined for a no-hitter to beat the Eagles. Wes Braystead drove in two runs, and Brady Flowers had two hits in the Rebel victory. We caught up with some of our Rebel players to get their thoughts after the game. What's up, Rebel News? We speak Carroll, 3-1. to one. We got some notable players. We got Brody Simpson, 1-3. for three. Austin Jay, 4 in his pitch. He shoved. Wes Braystead, 1-4. for four. Two are beyond in a save. Weston Watson was catching a tonight, and I was 2-4 for four at the plate. Y'all come out and support. Amen. Up next, the Rebels will host the Dale County tonight as I am. Next week, area play begins for the Rebels as they host Yogi Long on Tuesday and then travel to Skipperville for a doubleheader on Thursday. The Rebels will end the week 
host team of the Tigers. The Lady Rebels softball team traveled to Op on Monday to take on the Bobcats. Madison Meeks, Kaylee Hodge, and Riley Bannon all had hits for the Lady Rebels. Riley Bannon and Sidney Booth combined to strike out seven Lady Cats and only gave up two earned runs in the game. The Lady Rebels had their first area game of the season on Tuesday. They traveled to Laverne and picked up a 9-4 victory over the Tigers. Amber King drove in three on two hits. Madison Meeks drove in a run and scored two. And Sydney Booth went two for four with four RBIs, including a three-run home run that sealed the game for the Lady Rebels. Booth also threw a complete game and struck out nine Tigers to get the Lady Rebels an early season first place spot in the region. Up next, the Lady Rebels will travel to Geneva this weekend for tournament. They are scheduled to face Charles Henderson and G.W. Long, so make sure y'all come out and support them. Next week, the Lady Rebels will host Highland Home and Goshen. Okay. We just beat Ayrton for the second time, 9-4. to four. And Shay, Sydney, and Yaya all got home runs, and we are now 14-1. and one. And she was a big, big cheer. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome to another episode of Conversation Star Starters with Elijah Barker, episode 24. Join us next time. Bro, there's a, there's a needle man, bro. So, unfortunately, the ghost dance, what are you doing? I'm playing Pokemon. We're worried about Indian resistance in Colorado, not the Kanto region. What is wrong with you? Why are you playing? You can't use your phone in school. Well, Miss Ray said, how am I supposed to catch Pokemon? Uh, I don't know, but on your own time, I would say. I'm sorry. Bro, how am I supposed to catch Pokemon now? If I can't, like. I think I have an idea. Oh my gosh! There's a Pikachu sighting in the parking lot somewhere. We have to go. Man, I say he's close, but I haven't seen him. Yeah, I think he's out here somewhere. We'll find him eventually. Yep. I'm saying he's at the buses now, but I can't find him. I don't know, we need to find him so I can use his football. Now it says he's in the high school parking lot. We're gonna find him eventually. We have to, it's the only place left. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, pal, but I'll see you to answer. We don't like your kind around here. I don't speak your language. Speak English. Alright, that, 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 that's enough coming from you, pal. Alright, come on. I don't like your cotton around here. Yeah, I think it's somewhere in this direction over here. Wait, is that it? Over there? No way. Mr. Adcock, look at what we found.